Hello guys, it's Callum here. I'm playing another bit of Minecraft. It's a new world. It's a yellow skin. Right, in coldies. I'll see you guys in a sec. Chase! Hi guys, I'm back. You can probably tell by me shouting at my dog. struggling then done a deep laugh and said look closely so you don't forget they then sedated him and took him to hospital could the man have actually been possessed or could he have just taken some type of drug what do you think Shoot. number one you never know these days the clock hits 3 a.m and a 911 dispatcher gives a call she answers and asks what's your emergency a man starts frantically screaming claiming that his sister was possessed by a demon and tried to cut his heart out while he was sleeping he said he managed to escape and lock himself in the bathroom. The dispatcher then went on to ask him a series of questions trying to figure out what was going on. Every time he tried to answer, the dispatcher heard what sounded like a loud banging and scratching on the bathroom door. He then whispered, there is a demon in my sister's body. I have been battling it for days. It escaped the chains. What happened next haunted the dispatcher for life. She heard an unearthly deep demonic voice begin to start shouting at the man on the phone. She continued to growl and speak in a strange language until the police broke in. When they broke in, she let out a terrifying scream. The phone then hung up. After the dispatcher finished her shift, she asked her commanding officer what happened at the home, as she was curious, and he told her that the police found the woman with chains attached to bloody handcuffs around her wrists. She was covered in self-inflicted scratches, and one of her eyes was bright red due to a popped blood vessel. Also, her clothes were shredded and she looked pale. The officer said she looked like she was drained of her blood. All of these stories are real life events that happen to actual police officers. If you want to read them for yourself, check out the link in the description. Oh, that's fucked. I didn't know they were that damn real, dude. Yeah, man, you know, God, Jesus. Oh, you know, shit. This is a well done video, you know, I hope it was entertaining. Uh, I'm thoroughly scared the shit out of myself today. It's probably the last video I'm doing. Uh, today, anyway. Oh, come here, you stupid. Wow, well, really? Is it too... Is it... It's a normal. Oh, it's too short here. What the hell? We have just received confirmation from Meridian that on October 27, 2560, Spartan 117, the man most commonly known as... Where is this guy? It's the small blast from Sage T. And you came here to watch the video called Five Urban Legend Videos. I don't really need this. True. You can hear on a little bit right now. Supposedly leaked onto the internet or were mysteriously found. Once you hear all of them, let me know in the comments which one you think is real. Number five, Squidward Suicide. Most of you most likely know what SpongeBob SquarePants is, but for those who don't, SpongeBob SquarePants is an American anime animation series created for kids, which is shown on Nickelodeon. The cartoon is set in an underwater city. The main character in the is SpongeBob SquarePants. But it also features several other characters, such as Patrick and Squidward. Squidward is the mate of SpongeBob and Patrick. He is portrayed as an ill-tempered, pretentious octopus who strongly despises his neighbors due to their constant noisy behavior. Now from the suicide part, the story goes that an intern started working at the Nickelodeon Studios in early 2005. He worked directly with the animators and editors, so got to see episodes early before they were released. One day, he was called into the editing room to do some work. In the room, there were two other interns, the lead animator and the sound editors. They received a copy of what was supposed to be titled Fear of a Krabby Patty, but it was titled Squidward Suicide, as they would often title the unfinished copy for something strange. 
as an inside editing joke, they thought nothing of it. The clip started with the regular intro, then the story began with Squidward in his room, playing his clarinet. Then you can hear Spongebob laughing outside, so Squidward stops and begins to shower him, and tells him that he needs to keep it down, as he's performing at a concert that night and needs to practice. Spongebob then leaves. The normal bubble transition appears, and then it shows the ending of Squidward's concert. At first, a few frames repeat themselves, and the sound stops playing, but then it syncs up and returns to normal. At the ending of Squidward's performance, the crowd starts to boo him. It then shows Spongebob booing him. The odd thing about the scene was that every character had hyper-realistic eyes. They looked like human eyes, but were bright red. After this, it shows Squidward sitting on the edge of his bed, looking very sad. At this point, there is no audio, there is just video. Squidward then begins to sob. He puts his tentacles over his eyes and cries softly. During this, some audio starts to play in the background. The sound is of a light breeze, but it's at very low volume. The screen then begins to slowly zoom in onto Squidward's face, and then you can hear the sobbing start. It gets louder and more intense, and so does the wind. Then, Faint laughing starts to play. The screen blurs out and twitches, and something is flashed over the screen. The lead animator paused the video and then rewound it frame by frame to see to see what fla flashed over the screen. Squidward sitting on the edge of his bed, looking very sad. At this point, there is no audio; there is just video. Squidward then begins to sob. He puts his tentacles over his eyes and cries softly. During this, some audio starts to play in the background. The sound is of a light breeze, but it's at very low volume. The screen then begins to slowly zoom in onto Squidward's face. And then you can hear the sobbing stop. It gets louder and more intense. And so does the wind. Then, faint laughing starts to play. The screen. The lead animator paused the video and then rewound it frame by frame to see what flashed over the screen. What they saw was truly horrible. It was a photo of a dead child who was naked and had his stomach cut open with his intestines placed next to him. Oh, man. It press play, and then it switched to Squidward. He was still sobbing, but the audio was louder than before. The wind sounded like a hurricane, and the laughing became deep and demonic. There was blood coming out of Squidward's eyes, and it was running down his face. The blood looked hyper realistic. Then once again, another photo flashed. The editor didn't want to go back to a video, but out of curiosity of the editing team, he did. The photo was a little girl. She was laying on her stomach with a pool of blood next to her, and she was only in her underpants. Her intestines were piled on top of her back. One of the editors ran out of the room, and one of the interns almost vomited. After the flash of the photo, Squidward stopped sobbing, and all the audio stopped playing. He then uncovered his eyes, and his eyes were hyper-realistic. They were bleeding, bloodshot, and pulsating. He just stared at the screen. Then once again, the sobbing started, but he didn't cover his eyes. Once again, another photo appeared. This was of the boy in the first photo, but this time, it showed a hand ripping the boy's intestines out. There were five different photos of the boy, each one with different things happening to him. Although the sound editors insisted that they stop the video, they continued to play it. It showed Squidward with a shotgun in his hand, then a deep voice said, do it. Then he places the shotgun in his mouth and blows his brains out. The last five seconds of the episode showed another picture of the boy, then the episode ends. It's believed that the tape is traced back to a Scottish animator called Andrew Skinner. He made the tape and then sent it to the studios in late 2004. It's believed he was then later arrested for nine counts of murder, including two children. It's believed that the animator had to go to therapy and one of the female interns killed herself. After viewing the tape, one of the interns leaked the footage online, but it was removed by the police. And the only thing that remains is a screenshot of Squidward's red eyes. Although this is an urban legend that might not be true, 
There is a real article that mentions a man named Andrew Skinner from Fife, Scotland, who was arrested for attempted murder in the early 2000s. Number four. That's crazy. Surviving her. This urban legend started in 2009. This is how the story goes. In 2009, an amateur artist who was studying in the UK uploaded a video onto YouTube. After a short time on YouTube, it was removed due to YouTube's community guidelines. The video starts with a scene of a foggy meadow, and a white figure is lying on the ground. The camera then zooms into it, and reveals an ill-looking albino deer lying on the ground. The camera then zooms into the deer's eye. After this, the camera pans to a mirror, which shows the no, animal's reflection. The animal is moving in an unnatural way, and begins to twitch and spasm. The camera then zooms out, and shows the deer next to a mirror. The deer is lying near the mirror completely still, but the reflection in the mirror is still moving. This shot goes on for about two minutes, but then the deer begins to excrete a dark fluid from under its tail which starts to flow out like bubbling tar. People who claim they have seen the video say that a humanoid infant is birthed from the deer and is covered in a dark fluid. A blurry close-up shot of the humanoid's face is shown. Uh, then it cuts to the mirror, which is yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Then black and white stop with the audience Okay guys, I'm gonna leave that part here, like, subscribe and peace.